How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to teach you how to transfer your photos and videos from the Photos app to the Files app. And with this, free up a ton of your iPhone local storage because after we're done with the process, after we're done transferring the photos and videos from the Photos app to the Files app, we can literally go ahead and delete all of those photos and videos that we have just transferred and of course free up all of the storage in the iPhone. And the coolest thing is the photos and videos will still be here in the Files app in iCloud synced with all of our other devices. So we can finally do this. We can finally delete photos and videos from the iPhone and keep them in iCloud. This is what we have ever wanted. And in this video, I'm going to show you how in the process is extremely easy and simple. So all you got to do is open up the photos app and select the photos and videos that you want to transfer to the files app. And as I mentioned, this works with photos and videos. So whichever format you have here, this will work. All right. So let's go ahead and select a few uh, photos and videos. So I'm going to pick here and then keep sliding up until about here that's about 24 items as you can see this is a video uh, i have this is a video so i have a few photos and videos as well not only photos all right so all i gotta do is tap on the share button and then scroll down scroll down keep scrolling and then save to files if you don't have save to files on your iphone all you gotta do is edit actions the last button and then make sure that save to files is here and then you can tap on the plus green button all right to add the option since i already have it i don't have to do anything so done and as you can see here save to files and i can tap on save to files and then as you can see it'll probably open a random place right if you use the files app like i do you probably already have a ton of folders but in this case let's create a new folder so let's go ahead and slide all the way up to the top and if you have iCloud Drive right here, you can tap on iCloud Drive just to collapse the whole thing and to make it easier for us to take a look. And you probably see on your iPhone that you have iCloud Drive and on my iPhone. It's super important that you save the photos and videos for this process in iCloud Drive because when you do this, when you save in iCloud Drive, it'll save in iCloud. And that's exactly what we want. Save in the cloud. If you save on my iPhone, it'll save in the internal storage. And of course, it'll take up your storage the exact same way. It's not what we want. All right. So tap on iCloud Drive. And then here, just on iCloud Drive, when it's selected on iCloud Drive, you can go ahead and tap to create a new folder right there at the top right hand corner. So you can go ahead and name this folder. So you can, I'm going to name it photos and videos. But of course, you have the ability to uh, create any folder that you want with any name that you want. You can select uh, and you can separate by year, by month. You can do whatever you want with this. All right. But I'm going to do it as photos and videos and then hit done. And as you guys can see, photos and videos was just created right here under iCloud Drive. All right. So now that's here. It's created. I can go ahead and tap on save. And just like that, it'll start saving. It is just saved. It is a instantaneous transfer. And as you can see, it will already be there. So if you go ahead and open the files app and we go ahead and open iCloud Drive, which is where we saved it, you'll see here photos and videos, super easy. You can tap here in photos and videos and there they are, all of the photos and videos that we have just transferred from the photos app. And naturally you can see all the photos as you would normally here on the files app and the videos as well so as you can see everything plays perfectly you can see everything normally as you would but before i continue i'd like to talk about the sponsor of this video reboot guys trust me when i say this reboot is the software to go if you have any booting problems with your iphone or your ipad and on top of that reboot is compatible with mac and PC. So let's say your iPhone has this screen. It's on recovery mode, as you guys can see, and you can't do anything. You can't boot the device. You can't turn it on. Uh, if you try to exit the screen, press any buttons, nothing you do, you're completely stuck in recovery mode. Well, Reboot can help you out so, so easily. All you got to do is plug it into the computer, have Reboot opened, 
and then instantly you can just ignore the iTunes information and then instantly as you can see right here you can exit recovery mode with one click it will start exiting recovery mode and the best news is no data loss you will not lose any data unlike other software that will do this you will not lose any data it will just exit recovery mode and then when it turns on your iPhone will be back to normal as if nothing happened as you guys can see my iPhone is back to normal let me just put in my passcode tap on OK and as you guys can see my iPhone is back to normal with all of my apps all of my notifications everything is normal as if nothing ever happened and Reboot can do so much more than this because it has an iOS system repair tool inside that can repair over 150 problems like for example your iPhone is stuck with the Apple logo is in a reboot loop uh, maybe you have a black screen a white screen it doesn't matter which problem your iPhone may have Reboot can solve it with its system repair and it can do it so so easily so go ahead download Reboot right now first link in the description and take advantage of this amazing software again compatible with Mac and PC. Now, let's get back to the video. The coolest thing about this process is it will automatically start uploading all of those photos and videos to iCloud so, and you don't have to do anything manually, it will start doing its thing completely automatic. So there's nothing you need to do really, all the photos and videos are here, they will automatically start uploading and you don't need to be anything, it will be done automatically. Just make sure, just to make it easier and faster to be connected to Wi-Fi because it will do the process a little bit faster of uploading to iCloud. The transfer, it, it doesn't matter, but to upload to iCloud, it will be faster via Wi-Fi. And as you can see, if we go back here to our photos and if we go and select all of those photos, let me go ahead and select them all once again until here, I can go ahead, delete, those photos here so I can delete those items. I can even uh, come back to my albums, scroll down all the way down to my recently deleted and I can also select and delete the whole thing. So delete all, as you can see, it's all gone. It's all completely deleted. As you just saw, everything is completely gone. But if we go back to files, all of those photos and videos will still be there because as I mentioned, with this process, you can delete photos and videos from the iPhone, clear, free up storage on the iPhone, and the photos and videos will still be there, linked, saved to iCloud. So this is absolutely amazing. This is my favorite process on how to actually manage photos and videos on the iPhone, and of course, how to free up a ton of the storage. Also, please keep in mind that you do need to have enough iCloud storage in order to transfer all of those photos from the iPhone internal storage to iCloud, all right? So if you don't have enough iCloud storage, you need to upgrade and it's super easy. You just go to settings, go to your Apple ID, tap on iCloud, and then here you can manage your storage. So you can take a look exactly how much iCloud storage you have, and if it's full, you can easily upgrade. So something to keep in mind. So that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next video as usual. Bye-bye.